Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The steamboat New Orleans began its maiden voyage on this day, October 20th, 1811. The boat was part of a business venture between Robert Fulton, Robert Levingson, and Nicholas Roosevelt to build and operate steamboats on the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. Fulton and Levingston hoped to reap great profits from obtaining exclusive operating rights from the state government. Roosevelt was an expert on steamboats and had invented the side wheel design ships. Roosevelt also served as a pilot for the New Orleans and after a brief trip around Pittsburgh on October 15th, set sail for the Mississippi River. Roosevelt's wife and young daughters were on board and an engineer, pilot, six deckhands, two female servants for Miss Roosevelt, a waiter, a cook, and a dog named Tiger. Massive crowds turned to see the, de the boat depart. The New Orleans reached Natchez, Mississippi on December 30th and arrived in New Orleans January 10th, 1812. Upon hearing the news of the ship's arrival, Robert Fulton wrote, the Mississippi is conquered. Steamboat travel revolutionized the American economy and contributed greatly to the rise of the Natchez district as the South's most important cotton growing region. Hi, I'm Camille Taylor. I'll be a junior at Trinity Episcopal School, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.